every so often something new comes out and there is something new that is available now to treat acute pain and it's not an opioid so stick around to learn more hello and welcome back i'm adam rosen thanks again for tuning in if you haven't already subscribed please do so it really helps you get updates when these new videos come out and if you enjoy this content click the thumbs up button it really does help the channel in today's video, I want to talk about a brand new drug uh, that has been FDA approved in January of this year, 2025, called Jernivax. I'm not sure if I pronounced that correctly, but it is the first pain medicine that has been approved in the past 20 years. And it is unique in that it blocks something called sodium channels. Now, previously, when we treat acute pain, and acute pain is defined as pain less than three months. This is typically seen after surgery. We have historically used opioids, narcotics, and 80% of the world's narcotics are used in the United States. But over the years, we have done a better job of controlling pain. We use nerve blocks and we use a modi-modal approach, so different medications to hit the different receptors to hopefully lessen the pain and lessen the need for narcotics. Why? Because narcotics, which block a receptor called the mu receptor, have side effects, most common one being constipation. And constipation after surgery can be very problematic. There are other long-term complications, so things like tolerance and dependence, things like itching and rashes. And if you then come off of it, you can go through withdrawal. So up until recently, we haven't had a whole lot of really good options. And with this new medication, we now have a brand new option available to treat your acute pain after surgical treat or surgical intervention. So again, what this does is a pill um, that blocks the sodium channels. So it doesn't block mu receptors. So it does not cause constipation. It is also non-addictive two huge benefits when compared to opioids. Now, I've been hearing lots and lots about this. I personally have not had the chance to use this yet with any patients. Through contacts that I have on social media, orthopedic surgeons around the country that have used it have all had extremely positive things to say about it. They have had great responses from their patients in controlling their pain after surgery. Now, if you look at acute pain and we come out with a new drug, you have to imagine it's going to be expensive. And I really applaud the company because they did not jack the price up. What I was able to find is it cost about $15 a pill. So that's $30 a day for a two pill a day treatment. And for about a week's worth, it's about $230. And just this morning, I was reading an article uh, by NPR and what they quoted was, unfortunately, only 38% of insurance companies are approving this drug. So even if it's something that might help you, you might not be able to get it approved by your insurance company. But I just wanted to share this information on the channel because I do try to educate you. And this is something that I am still learning something about. But it's something that you might broach with your surgeon prior to your surgery. They may not be aware of it. Maybe they've heard of it. Maybe they haven't yet prescribed it. But it's something that you could discuss with them to see if they would prescribe it and find out whether or not your insurance company would approve it. Now, if you have had the chance of using it, please leave a note in the comments for me and for other viewers as to what your experience was. Did you find it helpful? Maybe how much narcotics did you have to use if you were also using this drug? So I will probably update this at some point in the future um, as we get more data about this new drug uh, and as I get more experience using it and seeing how patients under my care do with this medication. But as always, until next time, I'm Adam Rosen. Stay safe.